the linchpin here uh, to all of this form. And after winning five and a half lengths, would it, you've got to ask yourself, would it have won with £11 last time extra? And my answer would be yes, Martin, to be honest with you. And um, Paddy didn't let up. He ran, it ran, she ran through the line. And um, I think this is actually a, probably a weaker race than she ran in last time. So no, that's the one for me. The other one, Arizona Glory. You've got um, Wedgie who's riding at the top of his game, along with um, Evan Williams, who's yards in great form. And um, they had a great win in that novice chase. That was very impressive and definitely one to follow. Um, there's one that's needing a... A good kick along, a bit like getting me out of bed in the morning, which is a top horse, excellent team, but um, doesn't look like he's really listening to his uh, to his rider there. But he's just having a good day. He's enjoying this summer jumping down here. And uh, luckily, the weather's been OK. I thought we were going to, when we first started the show, we had a little shower and I came through a good few on the way down. But I caught up with the chief executive and he's had 40 mile an hour winds this morning. Luckily, they've dropped and the, the flag's raised and over to Martin Harris, our commentator. And they're off. Over the extended two miles for Division One of the Remembering Dear Lauren Scott Memorial Handicap Hurdle. Excellent team. Eventually decides to jump off at the head of affairs and leads them to the first of the eight flights with selling all the time. The nearest pursuer about three lengths down in second. They've all crossed the first flights, but there's already a good 12, maybe 15 lengths between first and last with Be Thankful currently dropped out in rear as excellent team leads over the second into the left-hand corner to cross it three lengths up on Selling All The Time, How's The Cricket and Arizona Glory share third. St. Brilade is held up in fifth in front of Lady Marwa and Be Thankful, who lacked fluency at the second, continues to be held up last of all, but the field is closing ranks. As they race left-handed around the turn, it's excellent team out in front by only a length from Selling All The Time, who's tracked closely by both Arizona Glory and How's The Cricket. Lady Marwa has moved past St. Brie Lady. The back marker remains Be Thankful. Excellent team leading them into the home straight on the first circuit as they approach flights three and four with Selling All The Time in the pink and blue, chasing the leader, then follows Arizona Glory on the outside of How's the Cricket, coming over the first in the straight. Lady Marwa made a mistake on the outside of St. Brie Lady. Be Thankful remains last as they come to jump the fourth. Excellent team will lead into it. More than a length in front, again away to the left from Selling All the Time, Arizona Glory, and How's the Cricket on their inside. Leading quartet covered by a little more than two lengths as they embark on a full circuit of the race course with St. Brie Lady and Lady Marwa disputing fifth position going into the next bend and Be Thankful remains in the rear. So excellent team leads them down the side of the race course with Selling All the Time on his quarters and then close behind How's the Cricket in company with Arizona Glory, St. Brie Lady stalks them, then follows Lady Marwa and the back marker remains Be Thankful. Excellent team is about to lead the field off into the back straight. With selling all the time on the leader's quarters, just putting his head to one side as they head off down the back. How's the cricket's third? Arizona Glory on the outside is fourth, then follows St. Brie Lady and Lady Marwa, and finally Be Thankful. Over the first in the back straight, excellent team. Jumped it fluently in front from selling all the time. Arizona Glory gets a shake of the reins. The St. Brie Lady improves between Arizona Glory and How's the Cricket, jumping three from home, where Be Thankful relegated Lady Marwa to be the back marker. So heading into the turn, it's excellent team with a narrow advantage over selling all the time with How's the Cricket, St. Brie Lady and a ridden along Arizona Glory in line behind the front pair. Then a couple of lengths back to Be Thankful and Lady Marwa as the leaders race halfway round the turn for home. Two flights of hurdles to jump once they level up. Excellent team still in front of selling all the time with St. Brie Lady moving closer into a clear third as excellent team gives way off the home bend. Selling all the time's gone on, but St. Brie Lady is immediately coming after her as both of them head over towards the stand side. How's the cricket? Arizona Glory, the fading excellent team are the next three. St. Brie Lady rose in front at the second last from selling all the time and now 
under Paddy Brennan. It is Saintbury Lady moving on by a couple of lengths, selling all the time, struggling to keep straight in second. Saintbury Lady at the final flight, rather fluffed her lines, but she's more than two lengths clear and doing more than enough in the closing stages. Saintbury Lady goes on to defy a rise in the weight, beating, selling all the time. How's the cricket? Arizona Glory on the heels of the front three ran fourth. Well, that meant a lot to Paddy Brennan. See him, the reaction to him as he crosses the line. Three or four pats. Look at this. Lovely shot. Big pats down the neck. Uh, get in there, I think we see with him a couple of strides after that as well. So, knows he's given this a great ride and uh, has followed up well from... We were talking about it before, you know. She won well last time, up £11. And she was 12 to 1 when she won last time bit shorter this time and she's bunny hopped the last. Paddy saw a great stride two out and sent her it. I think she was going to win anyway no matter how she met that fence but he, he made her mind up. He's had to go and pop the last and I think he's th th that might be a grin rather than a grimace he's got there because he knows he's won. It's a short run in here at Newton Abbott. If you jump the last in front by a length or two it's pretty rare you're going to get caught and yep three or four pats, one over the ears and thank you very much to St. Brie Lady and Fergal O'Brien, that's a double on the card for Paddy Brennan. Um, really strong in the finish. And he was taken a little wide off the bend by selling all the time. He was run around a little bit in second. They, they started on the far rail at the top of the straight and they both ended up on the inside rail. So, um, but no, at nine of four, it's a solid price here for a, for a smashing winner. And you think, I think Martin, she could follow up again in the near future. It's, um, she's won this easy enough. She's going to get, you know, a few more pounds with a handicapper, but... I say she's got a few more pounds in the lock.